Hey everyone, it's Keely here and today I'm sharing a layout and a process video for day 31 of my a Scrap Lift A Day series here on YouTube. So today is the last day and I am, I've got a few emotions about today. The fact that I'm actually really proud that I've managed to complete the full month. Um, I'm quite excited to have a break from recording process videos. Um, but at the same time, I'm a little bit sad that it's, you know, it's now come to an end. Um, <clears throat> today's scrap lift is in the top right hand corner. And I've also linked it in the description, um, description box, box below. Um, so you can check out the original and maybe have a go yourself as well. Um, so I've started off with pulling out some um, pattern papers. Um, these are from the um, Avenue collection, uh, which as you all know, I've been really enjoying using this month. Um, <clears throat> but these papers are from uh, the single sheets. These are, this paper isn't from the, um, the 12 by 12 paper pad. Uh, I've used both sides of this particular pattern paper, the black and white with the florals on um, and the other side is um, a gingham print pattern also in black and white as well. Um, the photo that I'm scrapbooking today, which um, you did just see a second ago, <clears throat> is one of me and my dog Spud. Um, my dog Spud's nine years old and is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Um, but he thinks he's still a tiny little puppy and he loves getting on my knee, throwing himself backwards and being cradled like a baby. Um, it's one of his favourite things to do. Um, like I said, he, he still thinks he's a tiny little puppy and he isn't. He's a big, full-grown, <laughs> nine-year-old staffy. And as well, you know, he's getting a bit older. Um... He's definitely gaining the pounds. I don't know whether they're just, um, you know, lockdown pounds <laughs> um, from the past year or, um, you know, he's just um, gaining weight with age. But he's definitely, definitely getting a big fat boy now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is just a photo. It's just a cute selfie. And I just really wanted to document um, the fact that he still loves being cradled like a baby. Um and you can kind of just see him in the corner there and he is definitely led on his back, um, having himself a rattle time, led on mummy's knee. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to document this story. I don't think I have documented this before, even though he's always done this, like since being a tiny puppy. Um, but it was definitely time, it needed to go into the album. So um, I've I've attached my pattern papers, um, sticking quite closely to the original layout. Um, there was a border around the main piece of pattern paper, um, but I decided not to do that on mine. Um, uh, to be honest, it I just it just didn't appeal to me on my page. But I do love how it looks on the original. Um, now in the sticker book for this collection, there was some uh sticker frames. Um, I have attached it to some cardstock uh, just to make it a little bit sturdier even though the stickers in this collection are quite decent quality um, of cardstock that's been used um, this still was a little bit flimsy and for what I wanted to do with it I definitely needed it to be a little bit sturdier um, so off camera I've stuck everything down that I'd laid out beforehand I have um, added some vellum behind my photo and I've also used the Bramble Fox dies and uh, cut the little notebook paper um, die out of some of the pattern paper in this collection and just took that in above my photograph. Um, and now I'm starting to stick down some embellishments. Whilst I was off camera, I did pick out a couple of things that I thought would work. Um, I did test a few things out as well. Um, and then I've come back on to commit to sticking those down and seeing if they actually do work in the areas I was thinking that they'd go. So I've added a little house sticker um, to the centre of my frame. Now in the sticker book, they came with the house sticker in the middle of the frames. Um, and you had the option then of using the frame and the house separately or you could use them together like they was in the sticker book. Sticker book. And I really liked how it looked. So I've done that onto my layout as well. 
Um, I've also added a dog sticker to the side of my photo. Um, this isn't um, the same breed of dog as uh, my dog. He's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier and this is more of um, may maybe a Springer or something along those lines. Um, <clears throat> I think it's more like a, yeah, I think it might be a Springer, I'm not sure. Um, but it actually does look quite a lot like my auntie's dog. <laughs> um, so it definitely isn't um, the same breed of dog, but it, that doesn't really matter to me. Um, the fact that it's a dog is nice. Um, I don't really get many dog embellishments in scrapbooking. I've seen lots of cats and things. This collection also has cats as well. Um, so it's nice to see dogs in a scrapbooking collection as well. Um, I've, I think I've already added the key to the side of the frame. My name's Keely, my nickname's Key, so I had to use the key on uh, a page with a photo of me on. Um, I'm now embellishing the top part of my page and I've added um, another house sticker that says hello. Um, I've also um, added another sticker though, which I think it says um, the heart of the home or something along those lines. I've also cut a banner as well in some gold foil and took that in at the top. Now at the moment this layout is very very black and white uh, with pops of gold so I decided to bring in some pink um, little florals from the sticker book as well. I've not really used many of the little florals in the sticker book um, so it was nice just to use a couple up on this page and I've also tucked in some of the gold foiled leaves as well. Uh, just to add some little details around the page, the original layout has um, quite a few enamel dots and things scattered around the page which look really nice. Um, so this is kind of me replacing the uh, enamel dots with um, some floral stickers and I'm also bringing in some bramble fox hearts as well. And these are in a real pale pink which matches the pink in the little flowers perfectly. Um, so now I'm committing to sticking these um, hearts from Bramble Fox down. Um, I, I was looking through my hearts and stars stash, which I do use a lot of the hearts and stars because they're just the perfect finishing touch to a page. Um, and I'm running low, so I need to stock up on some of those. Um, I've added my title down, which again is one of the um, gold puffy phrase word things um for this collection and this one says you and me which i felt was perfect for this photo of me and spud um and now i'm going to bring in some gold sequins um and these are from my stash i think they were just some cheap ones that i picked up from um hobby craft maybe or another crafty shop along those lines um oh and there's my kitten well she's not so much a kitten anymore maybe she was getting jealous of spud having the the limelight on this page um but um yeah she decided to walk right across my page <laughs> which is quite common with my cats um and now i'm also bringing in some gold uh gems from my stash as well um i really love adding gems onto pages again this was something i used to do a lot of years ago um and then it was just something i had to stop doing for a long time so now i'm definitely enjoying that again adding the gems and that little bit of bling onto a page so this is my last layout of the series um i am going to take a bit of a break throughout um february um from process videos i think i do have one scheduled for uh scrap squad uh, but that'll be it throughout february um Please do check out Zoshi's and Rebecca's layouts for today and I'll see you again soon on a process video. Thank you for watching. Bye.